Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about the Rankine's formula for the column. It is also from the uh, column and strut chapter. And in the previous video, we have discussed about the derivation of the crippling load for using the Euler's formula. And here it is Rankine's formula. The Euler's formula is valid only for the long column, while uh, whereas the Rankine's formula is valid for both long column and short column. And the general formula, general form of the Rankine's formula is 1 by P equals to 1 by PC plus 1 by PE. And the P is the crippling load by Rankine's formula. We need to derive or uh, rewrite this equation in the form of P using the uh, effective span and this crippling load. And how we can, we are going to write, I am going to show you in this video where and we have PC is the crossing load. Similarly, PE is the crippling load by using Euler's formula. So, uh, we have PC equals to crossing load and we have load equals to stress multiplied by the area. So, crossing load means crossing stress multiplied by area gives us uh, crossing load. So, for here we have sigma C is the crossing, uh, sigma C is the ultimate crossing stress here. Sigma C equals to ultimate, ultimate crossing stress. while a is the cross sectional area of the section cross sectional area now we can rewrite this equation as 1 by p equals to now take the lcm of both then we will have pc multiply by p e and when pc divide this portion is divided by pc then we will have p e plus divide this by PE then we will have PC now taking reciprocal we will have here P equals to PC upon P E divide by PE plus PC now from the lower portion take PE common then we will have PC multiply by PE divide by PE times 1 plus PC by PE. Now uh, we will take PE common. So PE and PE get cancelled. We take PE common and if on taking PE common we will have 1 plus PC by PE. If you didn't understood how we do this then see here PC times P E by P E plus P C multiply this by P E upon P E because P E and P E gets cancelled then it will be 1 and from here from these two terms now we can take P E common so here it is and here nothing means 1 plus P C upon P E because this P E is taken as a common so we will have P equals to P C upon 1 plus 1 plus PC upon PE now we have the we have read we know that crossing load PC equals to Sigma C ultimate crossing stress multiplied by the area so we will put the value, same value here value of P is written here as PC means Sigma C multiplied by area divide by 1 plus sigma c multiply by area divide by pe and also we have pe is the crippling load by euler's formula so we will put the value of pe uh, that is pi square ei upon l effective square l effective is the effective length of the column so we will write here pi square ei divide by l effective square now we got p equals to sigma c multiplied by a divided by 1 plus sigma c multiplied by a divided by pi square ei upon l effective square and we know that radius of gyration k equals to uh, equals to root under i by a where i k is the least radius of gyration i is the moment of inertia and a is the 
area of cross section so from here we can write rewrite it as i equals to uh, k square a squaring on both side then this root get cancelled so k square squaring on both side we will have k square equals to i upon a so from here we will have i equals to k square a this gets cross multiplication so k square a now we can put the value of i equals to k square a here in this equation then we will have here sigma c multiplied by a by 1 plus sigma c sorry sigma c multiplied by a divided by pi square e multiplied by k square a divided by L effective L e square so uh, again we will do the reciprocal of this this much portion we will do the reciprocal of this much portion then we will have here equals to Sigma C times a divided by 1 plus Sigma C multiplied by a multiplied by L e square divided by pi square e times k square a let us rearrange it as p equals to sigma c times a divided by 1 plus cancel this a and a then we will have sigma c times pi square e times l effective by k whole square we can rewrite uh, L e by k equals to whole square uh, now see here we have now this sigma c by pi square e is called the Euler's constant oh sorry Rankine's constant we have uh, so let us de denote it by as a equals to sigma c times pi square e let us denote a uh, sorry a equals to sigma c times pi square e which is uh, Rankine's constant so we can rewrite the equation as p equals to sigma c times a divided by 1 plus a times l e by k whole square so this is our Rankine's equation and uh, I hope you in, uh, understood this how to derive this Rankine equation in terms of the effective le length of the span of the column sorry it was not visible and uh, remember one thing that whenever we get a numerical and we if we are asked to uh, calculate the value of the crippling load un using Rankine equation then we will be provided with the value of uh, this ultimate uh, crippling stress and the value of we will be provided with the value of the ultimate crippling stress as well or uh, we will be given with the value of a and uh, there are different value for different conditions that is for the worth iron cast iron mild steel timber they have different value and you will be provided with that value in the uh, examination so no need to panic and uh, just uh, learn uh, you have learned how to drive the value of p now you need to uh, solve some numerical based upon the using these equations and then you will be fluent and you will have more con confidence how to solve the numerical and see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself